The EasyNAC solution supports a wide variety of guest registration methods. In this video, we'll show you one of the more popular options. We allow the guest to self-register, then their sponsor can approve their internet access via an email. For this demonstration, we'll be using the guest and unknown device. This device is actually Linux-based, so let's drill down and take a quick look at its status. And we can see here that it's currently being restricted because it's an untrusted device. Let's go back and take a look at that device. And we'll just verify it's being quarantined. So I'll open up the gateway to see if we can ping it. And sure enough, that ping is being blocked. We'll set that aside to monitor his network access. And the same thing for the internet. He can't reach the internet. And we'll just set that aside so we can monitor his network access. Now when he opens up a browser, his internet traffic is going to get redirected to the Captive Portal page. So the page got redirected, and he's invited to register as a guest. So we'll accept the terms of use. And then we basically have different options to register. In this particular demo, we're going to use a self-registration. So I'll choose to register for guest access, and now I complete the sponsor's details. So the sponsor is the person who's going to approve my access. So I'll put in his email address. And then provide my name and my email address. My cell and company details. And then I can send those details off. Now I'm being told that my guest access is pending approval, which it is. So let's go back to the management screen, and we can still see the device is being restricted. But let's check out Charles's email. Charles is the sponsor, so Charles will receive this email that this device is pending approval. So we'll open up that email, and here we can see the details that the guest had provided. If everything looks good, we can go ahead and grant access to this guest. So access has been granted. If we go back to the guest device, we can see his traffic is now going through to the internet. We're not allowing him to talk to the rest of the network, so he has internet-only uh, connectivity. And he's now being told that his guest access is good until this time. Now, if he wanted to go to another website, he certainly could. I'll just refresh the home page. And he can get access to the internet. Let's go back to the web management for a second. And here we can see there's a guest on the network. If we want to see his details, we can drill up and we can see who the guest name is and their current role. There are many guest options, but that's how the guest with sponsorship works. Thanks for watching.